Welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. My name is Leo Green. Many have asked, is it possible to set up hoses as flexible components? And today we're going to explore the notion of what it takes to make a hose a flexible component. In this assembly here, I've done so. I've got a couple of manifolds off in space at some arbitrary distance with a hose part assembled twice in two different configurations. And so the question is, how did that happen? And so that's what we're going to discuss today. For one thing, in order to do a flexible component that responds to its environment, a measure is required, some sort of measure. And certainly we're going to need length as well as some angles. So how do you get that to happen first? So I'm going to go to my settings, my tree filters here, turn on the features in the model tree so you can see that before the first hose went in some reference geometry was first created so let me explore let me, or show you how uh, that happens unhide the curves on the parts first thing we're going to need is some sort of distance from one to the other so I'm going to make a curve I'll choose this curve button here which allows me to create a curve through points. Middle mouse I then can pick an endpoint, pick another endpoint, middle mouse, middle mouse, and middle mouse a third time and I end up with a curve that goes straight across. Turn on the layer there. So if that's the first thing I'm going to do. That gives me the length but it also gives me the ability to measure an angle from this one to that one. In addition, I'm going to need, and I'll make a plane now that goes from across these two, go to the dis display tab and adjust its outline so it's easier to find. And that's going to give me the ability to uh, identify the plane that that angle is taken in. And if I pick a curve first and then go to the plane, it's already selected, kind of a little shortcut there. Adjust its outline again from this corner to that corner. And that gives me the ability to measure the angles of the ends as well as the angle between the two. Kind of a twist. And it turns out that's all you need as long as you build your part carefully. Make a part, give it a name, We'll start with three orthogonal datum planes here and we'll sketch we'll sketch a, a line that is the end of the hose end. Go straight to right click to dimension and I'll want to dimension it thus. Box, right click, modify and we'll just go down the list. Let's make this maybe three quarters of an inch. We'll make this maybe eight for starters say 35. So that'll be my first curve. And the next thing I want to do is is put in the twist that's required from one end of the curve to the other. Now what I found is that if I go straight to datum plane through this curve at an angle to the plane, the results were somewhat uh, unpredictable because the plane could flip its sense. And so let's do this instead. Let's sketch a curve here that gives us control over that angle. Dimension, the length of the curve, as well as the angle of the twist. Bear with me a little bit here. I think it'll be a little bit more apparent in a second. Call that done. And then the next thing Go back to the default view. We want another curve now that's on a plane that goes through these two. That way, if I go past 180, the plane won't flip. We'll sketch on this one, and this will be the end of the other side of the hose. Picking up a the endpoint is a reference, and we'll put in a short line. Go to dimension, 
the length of the line as well as its angle. Modify those two. Three quarters and let's make this one 25. Call that done. The only thing left is the hose. We'll connect again with the through point datum curve where we'll pick the end point of this curve as well as this one here. That's enough points. Go straight to tangency and specify that we'd like this one as a reference. Heading in that direction is good. This one too. Middle mouse, middle mouse, and uh, and we're done with that. The only thing left now is to make the hose. The hose geometry itself. So we'll go to variable section sweep. With the shift key down, we'll extend the trajectory into these extra pieces. Right click, go straight to sketch. Right click again, drop in a little circle. This might be half inch or so. We'll change it to solid, middle mouse. And there is our our hose part and it's almost ready now to be set up as flexible.